guys, this is Sydney. As I promised in my last UK favourites video, I'm going to be sharing some of my kind of miscellaneous body, hair and nail favourite products. Um, since a lot of you kind of associate the UK with Lush as well, I thought I would include some of my favourite Lush products as well. I think I'm going to start with the hair products because I never used to really care about my hair, but ever since I started dyeing my hair, bleaching my hair, my hair got a lot more damaged and dried. So I try to take care of my hair, which sometimes works and sometimes doesn't work because I can't be bothered to take care of my hair. These are going to be the products that you can get either from Boots or Superdrug. And the first thing is a very, very basic item, which is a dry shampoo. I used to use dry shampoo all the time, but nowadays I don't really use it a lot because my hair, like I said, is very, very dry at the moment. So I used to use it a lot more before I started dyeing and bleaching my hair. My hair is very straight and it was very smooth. It used to be very smooth. I didn't have any texture on my hair so if I wanted to make my hair look a lot more volumized I would use a uh, dry shampoo in the roots of my hair and try to kind of puff my hair a bit and as the name suggests it's a dry shampoo so it's really good for you when you don't wash your hair so if you're kind of on the second or third day of your hair and you can't be bothered to wash your hair or if it doesn't look good when it's fresh just try to freshen up by using a dry shampoo and this one is by a brand called Colab and the tease is also very good I'll probably insert a photo here I really like buying these kind of travel size ones so that I can just put one in my handbag and try to like freshen up when I'm out and about I actually prefer the pink bottle and the orange bottle from the Colab I don't know why if this one maybe that's the reason why I've only got this one left I don't really like the scent of this one if you're not kind of familiar with dry shampoo just be careful to not to spray too much because it kind of looks invisible when you first sprayed but after a while it will kind of turn white so you might end up with a grey patch on your hair if you have very dark hair like mine so yeah just bear that in mind use it very sparingly and UK drugstore dry shampoos are super affordable as well I think these are like one something so definitely go and check these out and next one is a big big saviour for my hair it's the Frizz's Extra Strength 6 Effect Serum by John Frieda and I swear by this product I think I I uploaded a photo of it on my Instagram before. This one is like a serum that you can apply on a wet hair and the reason why I love this is because it's very heavily formulated serum so um, you can't use too much of it but since my hair is very very dry and damaged at the moment I like to use like four pumps but before when my hair wasn't this damaged I only used like one to two pumps and that was just enough for my hair and I feel like I've tried a lot of different serums from other brands hair oil as well but this product I actually cannot go anywhere without this because my hair just feels different when I don't use this product and another reason is because it works as a heat protectant as well so when you apply this on a wet hair it's really good for you to do something else with your hair later on like for example blow drying or curling your hair or straightening your hair you don't really have to go and apply another heat protectant for your hair so I think that's a really good and handy product I don't really like using like a lot of different products because like I said I'm not really good at maintaining my body or my hair so that's a really easy product for me so I highly recommend this one and the next products are from Bleach London and if you've already watched my dyeing my hair pink video I actually use this product on my bleached hair and these products are called the super cool color and I've got it in the shade rose and the big pink they are both pinks but as you can see from the bustle this one is more sort of like a vibrant fluorescent pink whilst this one is a very very weak washed out and light pink I only recommend these products to those of you who have bleached or very very light colored hair because it won't show on my hair like this it's meant for like a really light and bleached hair and I just love these so much because when I had my hair bleached I was able to apply different colors on my hair and I just had fun with it so I actually tried their peach one blue one and I obviously love these pink ones but sadly I can't use these anymore because my hair's dark but yeah I would still recommend these to those of you who want to have fun with your hair whilst your hair's bleached and the next product is 
kind of beaten up because I used a lot of it and it's from the same brand Bleach London and it's their reincarnation mask and it's basically like a hair mask or hair pack I apply this after shampooing my hair and leave it for like three minutes I think it says to leave it for five minutes but I can never wait around in my shower for five minutes so I just use it for like three minutes I think this one is actually my third tube and it actually says hair dyed resurrect bleached or colored hair that's just the kind of caption that caught me and I would have to agree it definitely does the job it just deeply nourishes my hair which my hair definitely needs and it just works so much better than like other hair conditioners or hair masks and it's super affordable as well compared to the size you get but it's like a um, aluminum packaging so you can't really get all the product out so that's the only downside but the product itself is amazing especially when you're new here in the UK your hair might get drier because of the hard water so I highly recommend you to go and check out this product because it will sort that out moving on to the body products you can get from Boots I've got Soap and Glory's products I'm sure a lot of you guys will know about Soap and Glory it's a very very huge Huge brand here in the UK because of its very cute packaging but also super affordable price and amazing quality and scent as well I mainly like their hand cream which is called the hand food I'm not the biggest fan of hand creams but this one is really good because I love the scent apparently it's like a dupe for Chanel's Mademoiselle or something if you apply this on your hands it will just make you smell really really good and it's not the most greasy hand creams out there which I personally like Boots usually does like three for twos or like discounts on Soap and Glory products I actually got all of these like 20% off because they were doing a deal on it so yeah I love getting these as gift for my friends in Korea so if your luggage isn't too full or too heavy I think these are great for your friends when you're going back to Korea and lastly from Boots I've got some nail products which are from Barry M and Barry M is like my favorite go-to brand for my nail polishes as you can see I've got quite a few of them and I actually do have more in my nail drawer but I'm just gonna share some of the shades I personally really like so they actually have a few different nail ranges from the brand but I personally don't really see any difference but some of my favorites are from the jelly in shine line and these are in the shade damson and I don't know what this is called I'm just gonna show you the colors so that's that and this one is one of my current obsession and this one is called Laguna and yeah a lot of you guys always ask me about my nail color so those are my favorite nail products from the drugstore and today I'm not actually wearing the barium color I'm actually wearing this from Maybelline and this one is their color show 60 seconds nail polish in the shade 20 blush berry so it's like a burgundy creamy shade which I thought would look great for the autumn and winter seasons but in my last UK drugstore favorites video some of you guys were asking about my nail color as well and I was wearing this and it's basically from the same line as this one I'm wearing now this one's called number one go bear and I just love this color. It's like a nude blush shade. So yeah, I've been loving these as well. I think you guys will really like them if you are into nails like me. And finally, I'm going to move on to my Lush favorites. I actually don't have a lot with me at the moment because I go through them pretty quickly. The first thing I want to show you is the Bubblegum Lip Scrub. And I actually got a new one recently, so it's pretty full. I just love the scent. It's pretty much like sugar, like scented sugar that you can rub on your lips and exfoliate your lips some people might think it's a gimmick and it's a waste of money but I still buy it because of the smell and because of the color and it's just so pleasant to use so that's one of my favorites from Lush I've got another scrubby product from Lush and it's their rub 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 shower scrub well that's a tongue twister this one is a body scrub and this one I believe is sea salt that you can scrub on your body when you're in shower and this one is my second top because I actually completely used up my first top with my mom she really loved it as well this one's got a really really refreshing scent I don't know it's like I'm not usually a fan of these kind of scents but this one's like super refreshing it reminds me of the ocean even if it's like a shower scrub it kind of leaves your skin feeling really really nourished and moisturized so you don't really have to put body lotion after taking the shower so that's the reason why my mom loves it as well because we like low maintenance products and yeah it's just my current absolute favorite product from Lush and I will have to talk about this product before it just goes everywhere and it's their intergalactic bath balm and it just made my hand blue I'll just put it back in here 
Okay, Lush is very, very famous for their bath bombs. I personally love using it for special occasions like when I'm going on a holiday and I know I'll have a bathtub in the hotel. I like to take one and treat myself when I'm there. It's just so calming and it's just so romantic even if you're taking the bath by yourself. I think you deserve a romantic bath even when you're on your own. I can't really see myself using it like a few times a week because it could be pricey and I just think it's just the perfect kind of treat for yourself or it could be a really great gift as well. I know Lush products tend to be a lot more inexpensive here in the UK so if you're coming over and you have some spare pounds or space in your luggage definitely go and check out the bath bombs. And last but definitely not least, I've got their Fresh Face Mask, which is one of my favorite product range ever from Lush. This one is a new one I got the other day actually, and it's their Don't Look In Me Fresh Face Mask. And it looks like that. It kind of is in the same color family as the Rub 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 Body Scrub. And it just smells so good. It smells very lemony. And it says that it's a rejuvenating mask with cleansing lemon juice and scrubby ground rice. And I've tried various different fresh face masks from Lush. My personal favorites are Otafix and Catastrophic Cosmetics, I think. I personally really like very, very calming and very subtle face masks from Lush. This particular one caught my eyes because I like very rejuvenating and cleansing masks. I just love using Lush masks because I know that they're safe on my face and Lush just does amazing jobs as a brand and I just love supporting brands like that and I just feel like I have to take the advantage of buying more Lush stuff when I'm here because I know it could be a lot pricier in other countries but make sure to keep it in the fridge because they're like fresh products and don't try to use it for too long because it will probably go bad after a certain period of time so I feel like if I buy a tub of the fresh face mask from Lush I find myself to like treat my skin well and do a face mask really really often to use it up before it goes bad so I think it's a great product because it just helps you to take a good care of your skin so that was every thing of my kind of miscellaneous favorite products from Boots and Lush. I hope you find this video helpful. As always, thank you so much for tuning in. Leave me any comments if you have some favorite products here in the UK. Thank you so much for watching again and I'll see you guys very soon with my next video.